Hood should be used whenever volatile, hazardous, or odorous chemicals are being used. It is always safe to use a fume hood when there is any doubt. The fume hood is not a substitute for personal protective equipment. Goggles, a lab coat, and gloves should be worn when you are working with hazardous chemicals. The window sash should be lowered to the appropriate height in case there is any leaking gas, splash, or even explosion. Always remember chemicals are very dangerous. This is why we always use safety tools to protect us. Because accidents can happen at any time in the lab, it is important to know where the shower and eyewash stations are located. In the case of a chemical burn or spill, the burned area should be flushed with cold water for at least five minutes. If a chemical enters your eyes, go to the nearest eyewash stage. Hold your eyes open and rinse for at least five minutes or more according to the information given in the MSDS. Do not rub your eyes while using the eyewash. Contact lenses do not need to be removed. If a chemical is splashed or spilled on a large portion of your body, the emergency shower should be used. Remove any clothing affected by the spill. Remember, your safety comes before modesty. It is very important to report all accidents to the lab instructor or lab tech right away so they can fill out the proper documentation and future accidents can be reduced. Scientific glassware is an instrumental component and hallmark of any laboratory, but can be one of the most frequent and dangerous hazards associated with safety. Lab glassware is not like glass at home, which breaks with relatively blunt edges. It is made from borosilicate glass, which is so rigid that once broken, shears down to the molecule, making it one of the sharpest edges you will ever find. Not only can the broken glassware cut you severely, but your skin and bloodstream are now exposed to whatever was in your flask. Broken glassware should be swept up with a dustpan and broom, never picked up directly with your fingers and hands. Instead, it should always be properly disposed of into the broken glassware containers. If glassware is broken, immediately inform your instructor. If first aid attention is needed, consult your instructor, locate your laboratory's first aid kit, and immediately visit the student health center located on campus. Proper use of laboratory glassware is also an important safety measure. Labeling all glassware in use ensures that all chemicals can be identified. A proper label includes name, date, and contents written legibly. Remember to thoroughly wash all used glassware so that others may have clean glassware to use. Never bring any food or drinks into the lab. Leave them outside by the door or keep all food and drinks in your backpack for the remainder of the lab. They could easily be contaminated without your knowledge. Most chemicals look just like water. Consuming contaminated food or drink could cause serious damage to your body and internal organs. After entering the lab, place your backpack up in the front of the classroom along the walls or in the corner. Do not place them in the aisles or on the bench top. Chemicals may remain from previous labs that were not cleaned properly. Not only could this damage your backpack, but those chemicals could be transferred to your clothes and sink into your skin, causing a chemical burn. When cleaning your glassware, do not use the air valves to dry them. The pressure could make the glass shoot out of your grasp and break, potentially causing an injury. If you are done using your glassware, let it dry in your drawer. If you need your glassware clean immediately, use the organic solvents found in wash bottles by the waste container such as acetone or methanol. These solvents will dissolve most organic residues left behind and will evaporate quickly. When rinsing your glassware with these solvents, always do so into the waste container, never in the sink. Always make sure all valves are properly closed after using them, especially the gas. If you smell mercaptan, the additive in natural gas, do not panic and check all valves around the smell. Also make sure to alert your instructor. Keeping these safety precautions in mind can help keep the lab learning environment safe for you and your classmates. The threat of injury or death is very real in any laboratory. Chemicals are present that could cause burns, birth defects, and many are also carcinogenic. Always make sure to follow all safety rules to keep you and your peers safe from danger. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask your instructor or any of the lab assistants. They will be happy to help.